everybody, this is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project. I have something here from Banggood. A lot of you may be familiar with the company. They're uh, really good prices on pretty much a lot of stuff. I have here what's called a digital storage oscilloscope. And I want to introduce it here and review it here, and then you're going to see it on my electronics channel as well. Those of you who follow my electronics channel. But I want to share it here because I think it might be interesting for a lot of people. And a lot of you might not know what it is, but once you've seen this, you might be interested in getting one yourself because there's so many cool things it can do for you. It is cool. All right, let's pop this open. This is exciting. This is something that every electronics shop needs. And... If you're working on experiments, electronics, and projects, and security systems like I am, which you know is part of my off-grid homesteading videos, this can be incredibly helpful, exciting, and useful. And it's beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. Look at that. And we've got a whole mess of accessories and cables galore. Wow. Whoa. There's all kinds of accessories in here. There's, <laughs> They really go all out. Look. There's European plugs. There's a multi-way adapter. Look at that. They've got cables, 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 cables. And a... Looks like a USB charger, too. What? There's a USB charger as well. <laughs> Look at that. There's everything in here that you can think of. Now, I'll be showing you this because it's exciting. I have been a bit of a geek my whole life. I'm sort of an unusual type. I love the outdoors. I love off-grid living, but I love computers and electronics. So, I'm going to have to look at the instructions. And we've got here some more cables a lot of cables exciting stuff nice little carrying case too for the cables there's a user's manual oh there's a user guide and product instructions interesting we have to figure out what's what there so let's get this open I'll be right back there's a little protective cover on that display that is a beautiful thing pictures can't do it justice so, for those of you who don't know, what is an oscilloscope? Well, very simply put, an oscilloscope shows a visual representation of sound waves. So, as I speak, there are sound waves moving through the air, and this can show it digitally on a display like a computer screen. That is valuable for many things, such as... Think, consider this now. Off-grid homesteading can use an oscilloscope for troubleshooting their power inverter because the power output is supposed to be a sine wave, right? And you can see the power output of your inverter on here and know how clean it is. A lot of the cheap ones, and I'll probably give you a demonstration later, a lot of the cheap ones are not very clean. And one of these tools here is going to help you find out if your device is working right or not. And that is the value of one of these tools. There's many, many, many other uses for this. That's just one, for example, for off-grid homesteads, is looking up your output of your power inverter or your household electricity. If you have a lot of trouble, and some areas do, with your home uh, electricity, it could be that your power is what's called dirty power, which means there might be a little bit of junk in there in the lines and in that case you might want to get a filter this guy here will show you that visibly for me as well because I have electric fences and alarms and wires everywhere this thing can help me make my missing pulse detectors and my signals I don't want to go too much in detail about how they work my my alarms and and uh, wires and touch sensors but this guy here can help me fine-tune that stuff that is great so there's a lot of uses for an oscilloscope even for uh, normal 
people and off-grid living and homesteaders. There's my first power on and I'm going to show you something interesting and cool. One of the quickest ways to check a scope. So I've got the probe hooked up right here. Now your body is run on electricity, electrical impulses. Check this out. This doesn't hurt a thing touching it for you. Check it out. There is are the electrical impulses from a body signal. I don't know how well it shows up, but I'm sure you can see motion on the screen and a lot of squiggly lines jumping all over the place. That is the electrical signals from me. So that's one of the first things I ever do when I turn on a scope. Perfect test to find out if it works or not. So I have to calibrate this and a lot of other stuff. So we'll be back later. Okay, now I'm going to show you how you can check your AC household electricity. I'm not going to show you where I'm, how I'm, the, the connections I'm doing. You should find a safe way to connect your probes to your household AC line. So now I've got the probes ready to connect to my, this is household AC, so what you're going to see is my home power. And the importance of this is to show you if there's any, uh, what you'd call dirty electricity, any interference in the lines. So a perfect sine wave, which you should have, would be absolutely perfectly uh, smooth curves. When I press this down, I find out that there's indeed some interference in my lines. I don't know if that shows up. It's hard for me. Let me readjust the camera. And this will become uh, clear why this is important for off-gridders and homesteaders. And if you've got sensitive electronics. So, there I'm connecting again. And I think you can see, I hope it shows up on the camera, that there are little bits of disturbance in the lines. It's not exactly purely clean electricity in our home. And then again, I didn't expect it either. We're out in the country at the end of the line, and uh, there could be feedback from anything going into our lines. So that doesn't surprise me at all. And that is important because you want a very smooth curve. And that's why people buy filters to filter their electricity and get a perfect sm smooth curve and take out any what you would call noise. Let me see it. Hold on a second. It's hard for me to do this with the camera. I'm going to change the um, size of that display. Okay, now you can see the noise more clearly. That is undesirable. Absolutely undesirable. So that's my AC 120 volt uh, power coming into my house. And I'm not going to get into a lot of details on how this system works. What I'm going to do is show you how it can be helpful for you for off-grid living. Now just as a reference, I just took the wires of the probe out and there is a perfect straight line, so it was definitely not in my probes. It was definitely from the power coming into the house. Now what I have here is an APC uh, battery backup system and I just tested it and I'm very surprised to see something here. So let's get the uh, the plugs in there. Now I'm realizing that the noise in my my house is definitely coming through because um, my miners downstairs so there's absolutely some noise in my house so this waveform is not perfect. As soon as I plug in the ground you get a bit of a waveform. That's my miners. So forget that but what we have here is a pure sine wave output which is surprising to me. I'm going to try to zoom that in a little bit and analyze that because you want as close to a pure round curve on the output of your power inverter and if it's got stepped outputs then it is not good for your electronics and this is a surprisingly good curve for this device. Now I've amplified it a little bit more and now you can see the tiny 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 bit of steps because it's an electronic device, you can sort of see the steps in there. Sorry, I moved my hand. But it's impressive 
how round it is overall. I'm quite impressed that it's not that bad of output. I did not expect it to be that good. So a cheaper inverter will have wider and more steps in this pattern. And this is how a device like this, sorry my hand is tired, I'm going to let go. This is why a device like this oscilloscope is going to be beneficial to you in off-grid homesteading. Of course there's a little bit to learn but the instruction manual on this is really good and really easy to understand. Um, it even tells you instructions on how to read your um, power ripples, measurement of domestic electricity at 220 or 110 volts. It tells you uh, what you need to do it and how to do it. So I'm very pleased with the instructions. It's very, very easy to understand. One thing I want to note, again, that's, forgive that ripple, that's from my open air miners. They're really nasty, dirty electronics. So oh, I want to note that it tells you here the voltage peak to peak. So that's the voltage from peak to peak. Now what you read and what you're used to learn um, to uh, seeing is the averaged out 120 volts. So this is 120 volts, I'm in America, but from peak to peak is 400 volts. I wanted to note that it will tell you your voltage here, which is a great thing and another useful tool. If your voltage is off, then you can find that out. If there's something wrong with your electronics, your power inverter, your off-grid system somewhere, you can troubleshoot it with this visually. It is a really awesome tool. Here's another really awesome feature of an oscilloscope that I bet you didn't know. You can measure your battery voltage with the oscilloscope. And it shows me 13.4 right here in the output. So this is not only an AC measuring device, but in a pinch, if that's what you got out there and you're checking your systems out, hook it up, hook your probe up, and it'll tell you your battery voltage. Now here's something non-typical, and the only time I'll mention this on this channel. This normally belongs to my electronics channel, but it's part of my homesteading. I have here a 12-volt battery powering my Bedini motor, which most of you have seen in the past. All right, but well, what's great about this is I use this to restore lead acid batteries, okay? Right now I have a 100 times probe on there because I'm gonna be checking the output on here. But first, let's swing around. It's time for me to swap out the powering battery because I'm only at 12.1 volts. And that's not cool, so I gotta recharge that. No, there skipping the interference from my miners, all the little squigglies and spikes. Those two peaks coming and going is every time a magnet passes the coil, I'm putting a charge into the battery, and it shows me the battery voltage under charge. It's fluctuating because it is pulsing. And voltage average, my battery voltage, uh, or that's, that's the AC spikes. The oscilloscope's trying to translate it into AC. My battery voltage is not good. 6.91 volts average. That's the actual battery voltage. What we got here is the output waveform, which is how I analyze this device. Anyway, the point is, let me uh, zoom out a little further here. The point is that this tool can be used for visually analyzing your electronics, circuits, and voltages which is really awesome if you are an off-grid homesteader and you do have power inverters solar charge controllers talk about solar charge controllers a PWM solar charge controller means pulse width modulated which means pulsed DC output which means you can see it with this device and check out its output so if you're troubleshooting your solar charge controller you can use an oscilloscope if you're troubleshooting your grid power or your grid tie inverter or your power inverter or your power backup system 
you can use this device to troubleshoot it and check out the waveforms. If you're buying a power inverter, or you bought one and you bring it home, and it claims to be a pure sine wave inverter, this is great to have to find out if um, you're getting what you paid for. And that's very good to make sure that you're getting your value for your money. And if they start to fail on you or if there's something wrong, this device can help you check it out yourself at home. There are so many things you can do with one of these. It is one of my most valued and favored tools that I have ever owned. So I think if you haven't had one before and you are considering off-grid homesteading, off-grid living, this is a very, very valuable tool to have on the homestead. Just a simple read through the instruction manual, especially with this one, will teach you how to check your home power, um, see if it's clean or not, or your power inverters. That's great because it's got very clear instructions right there in the book on what buttons to push and what settings to set for checking your AC power. That makes it incredibly convenient. Now you're going to be seeing this heavily in the coming weeks and months on my electronics channel, the do-it-yourself world electronics, where I'm also going to be doing a more thorough and in-depth review on this device and all of its features and functions and why I love it so much. So for those who are interested in a very, very much more in-depth review, uh, check, wait for that and watch for it on the Do-It-Yourself World Electronics channel. Uh, for those of you considering homesteading and off-grid living, I will put the links down below in the um, comments in the video description. And I'm there to help you guys if you do get something like this and you're confused and don't know how to use it, send me an email, troy.thedoityourselfworld at gmail.com and I'd be happy to help you out. So check it out guys. Please like this video. Subscribe if you haven't. You never know what's coming to the homestead tomorrow. Get yourself one of these if you're considering off-grid living. Well, actually, for anybody with any electronics devices, this can help you. Talk to you all later.